Well, hello, welcome everybody. Today we are going to teach you how to speak English correctly. Because she has a problem with speaking English correctly, right? I'm Anna. I'm her sister. I've been in like four videos by now. Y'all should know me. My Instagram and Twitter are in the description for you to follow me. She'll put that in there. Shameless self-promotion. So um, what I decided to do was I went to Mental Floss, which is a really fun website. It has brainy type things and uh, interesting articles. If you want a link to this article, I'll put it in the description below. An article that has 11 popular words that we use or have seen before and you're actually mispronouncing those words and you don't even know it. So I'm here to re-educate you and teach you how to say these 11 simple words that are really not that simple because we all say them incorrectly. So what I'm going to do is I have paper and uh, an Expo marker on this paper and then I'm going to show you and the audience the word and you're going to tell me how to say it and I'm going to tell you that you're wrong because you're probably going to be wrong. First word is, first word. That is Seuss, like Dr. Seuss. Oh, so the verdict is number one. Seuss. Yes, because I'm right. Pen names don't always make things easier because Seuss, as we know, is uh, an author. This pronounces it Seuss. It's it's Deuce, not Dunce. So you're you don't even know how deuce. to say it. Yeah. You're wrong as the well, Dunce. And you shouldn't rejoice if you're calling him Seuss. He pronounces it Seuss or Zois. No, it's Seuss. So it's really Zois. I think you're making that up, but let's it's go really to the Okay. I feel like this, the Seuss was like too easy. I feel like this is too easy. You're throwing me off. Well, sound it out. Spell it phonetically. How I want to say, say kibosh. Like, what do you think a kibosh is, first of all? You're blocking my face. Oh, sorry. Hold kibosh, on. I like, makes me hungry because I think of kebab. I don't really know what kibosh means. So you think it's a kibosh? Well, <clears throat> I know it's wrong. Let's Give me a second. The Okay, I'm going with kibosh. Kibosh pronounced kibosh on saying the word kibosh. So it's not kibosh, it's kibosh? Next word. That was number looking. two. On to word number three. Okay. I say this word like Celtic, but I've been wrong twice. So I'm gonna just make something up for this. Like Celtic, uh, so, yeah, like Celtic. Like the sports team. The Celtics. Oh, Celtic, I'm going with Celtic. Hard K, that's the same yeah. language for K. By the way, remember when Martha Stewart had that whole campaign where she did like, it's in the K, when she did the sign language K? I think you no. should just okay. explain. Um, that might be why Kmart's not doing so well. Let's say the S sound um, emerged far back as the 17th century. Still, you still, you'll sound ridiculous, but you'll be correct. So I guess it's not Celtic, it's Celtic. One Ding. for three. You get one point. Good job. One and three. I make up words all the time. Like you can't put a fake word in this context. Absolutely. Have you read um, Alice in Wonderland? There's a ton of made up of words in there. People make up words all the time. Okay, I want to say comptroller, but my first instinct is always wrong. Hmm. Or is it? But I can't think of any. Or other maybe it's counterintuitive, and that's really how you say it. Counterintuitive is what you say. Counterintuitive. Counterintuitive is how you pronounce that word. No, counter. <laughs> But sometimes they want you to reverse psychologicalize yourself. That's counterintuitive. Comptroller. This word sounds like controller if you're tempted to pronounce the silent PT. Please Ow. control yourself. So, it's controller. I've term. seen this before, but I don't know what it means. And doesn't it usually have like a ha over the E? Say it's cachet. Cachet. Like a French poodle. would be stupid. Cachet. Cachet sounds like a poodle. Fun to mispronounce. This word sounds just like cash. No! Yes. So, <laughs> no. yeah, that one It's supposed to be just like cash. It's a good word. My English major is coming out in this word. This what is, is that awesome. letter? N or R? That's an R, 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 R. A chicanery. <clears throat> That's probably wrong. What do you think a chicanery is? Like a banana factory? Like yeah. chicanery. Actually, does not mean either of those things. Doesn't mean a bird? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this word meaning deception or trickery, that's what that word actually means, um, is aptly tricky, tricky to pronounce. The beginning ch sound is sh, as in Chicago. Oh. So it's sh, eh, cannery. So chicanery instead of chicanery. Um, yeah. I think it sounds. Dang it, I don't know how <laughs> I think it sounds. That's the problem. It was just, but like, buh. It's not banal. Buh. Like, banal. What is it? Banal. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
the butt of the joke if you pronounce this bano. But it's I said it the other way. It's, no, it's banal. <laughs> I threw that Wait. out there as an option, so I think I get point five. No, I've seen it many times. Um, it's lacking originality. Oh. So like you're basic. Oh, so you're like oh. So if you see a basic biatch, you can be like oh she's so banal. Sure, that would work. She's banal. Okay. And she'd be like. Mm. I'm not into that. No, this word affluent is how you say it. What is it? Affluent. Means like you're rich, you're upper class, doesn't it? Mm. Doesn't it? If pronouncing it affluent is wrong, some people don't want to be right. The stress on this word is supposed to be on the first syllable. Aff. Um, sure. I got two right so far. Out of how many? What ding, one we We're on number nine. Oh. Cause Forbade. Because I know mom and papa said this to you. Forbade. Um, pronunciation quirks and mistakes happen when people try to read and speak by the rules. We used forbid as the past or present tense verb. So I was right? It's forbade. I yeah. was right? Yeah. Got three right so far. But yeah, it didn't I, always used to be a word. So this is a I've proof heard that before. That people can make up words. You, you don't. don't. No, you I don't know this word. I, I've seen this somewhere. Crap. I've seen, I feel like I got this in like an, Ingl in a, <laughs> an English class before. Let's say boat swain. But that's wrong. I know it's wrong because that would be too easy. They try to trip you up with a silent letter in there. Do you know you anything don't... about um, etymology? Etymology? <laughs> what? Both son. What? I might find more reasons to use it in conversation. Um, means the chair at the edge of the pit. Yep. I ain't never gonna say both son a chair at the edge of the pit, meaning the leading semen and. The last word. Ooh, this is a word that I use uh, probably incorrectly all the time, and it's uh, one that I hear used incorrectly all okay, the so time. Okay, so should this should be easy for me then? This think? no, this should be difficult because oh. every, everyone says <laughs> this word wrong. Wow. Niche. Are you sure? Everyone says niche. Everyone says niche. It's or niche. niche or niche. I've heard niche. Before. I never heard that. Like it's a niche. Sound a, a name. Yeah, niche. that's. A, oh hi niche. niche. Um, it's niche. Itch. So it's not niche. But let me finish reading. Don't lie to me. The 20th century, more people embraced the true French pronunciation and described it as niche. Both are correct. So I'm right. Both. Wait, are how correct. do you hear people say it that's wrong? Um, I've heard niche and niche. Which, I don't like. You're both right. I don't like that. I've also heard niche, niche, and those are not. Right. So anyway, congratulations, Danny. You have a total of three points. I had four, I think. I got, four I'll give I you got four. niche, forbade, affluent, and I got like another one before that. I got okay, four. Okay, I'll give you four points. So congratulations. Four you out have of four 11. points on the how to speak English, English game. That's <laughs> all that we have for right now. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember, be safe and make smart decisions. See you later. Bye. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live in Nisha's business. Nisha. Nisha. She's she had a lot of work done. Did you see her last week? Nisha. <laughs> she be looking rough. <laughs> she got in a fight. Mm.